the winner of the BT Young Scientists of the Year 2013 are Kira Judge, Ema Hickey, and Sophie Healy Town from Kinsale Community School in Cork. <laughs> Let's hear it for them, folks. From Kinsale Community School. I haven't, it hasn't really kicked in yet. <laughs> I know it's just amazing. I never thought that we would, I don't, not we, but we'd win. Once our category um, awards had finished, we were just like kicking back and supporting all the other pupils in our school. It's just amazing. There's no words. <laughs> Basically, we're using Rhizobium, which is found in. Um, the roots of legume plants such as peas and using it to speed up the germination of plants, well, crops that don't naturally have this and uh, we sped up the germination rate by 50%. On Christmas Eve we were putting in data for like three hours so I actually had to wrap my present, get up early to wrap my presents because my, the presents for the people because I didn't have time to do it on Christmas Eve. It's been a phenomenal year. We seem to be in the process of breaking all sorts of records again which is quite incredible. Um, we've had a great winner, um, incredible project. Three girls, I think they're only in third year. Um, don't even look like they're in third year, they're, they're so young. So it's just amazing that someone that young could be doing that kind of advanced science to win a competition like this. It really is superb, great feeling tonight. Honest to God, you kind of wonder how they can do this at 15 years old. Basically, they wanted to find out whether if you put certain types of bacteria on seeds, whether it would help their germination. The reason they wanted to do this is because certain types of plants, mainly peas and beans and things like that, can get nitrogen out of the air through bacteria and then into their roots. And they were thinking, well, if it works for beans and things like that, would it work for wheat and barley, which is, are totally different types of crops? So they did this mad, intensive, long, um, long drawn out study. They got like 12,000 samples and things like this to assess. And they decided that yes, they discovered, yeah, you really can do this. You can use a bacteria that works with peas and beans and use it in things like wheat and barley. So it has implications. I mean, it really does for um, food supplies and, and yields and things like that. So it's quite a nice piece of work. The tradition of science in Ireland goes back a long way. Uh, and what we have tapped into, and certainly the Science Gallery in Trinity College, has, is an indication of just how widespread and how deep the scientific roots are. And what BT's sponsorship now of the Young Scientist ensures is that tradition is actually being given an entirely new boost by the mobilization of so much enthusiasm. 362 schools, uh, 1,900 uh, entries, and, and nearly uh, 3,500 more students involved in it. It is just fantastic. 